I'm Norma Hill. Um, I've lived in Hutchinson all of my life. I'm a native of Hutchinson, Kansas. Michael was a very quiet child, uh, very seldom got in trouble. He um, was a lovable child. He was always um, open. He loved hugs. He was a touchy, you know, he loved to be hugged. But when he started to get in trouble with the law was when he broke into a car at the, uh, at the mall, I believe it was, somewhere, and he went to jail. And he was, yeah, he was 16, and he went to jail overnight. They released him that morning, that, or the next morning. And that's when I started to notice a change. But the bigger change was probably when he was in, oh, the 11th grade of high school, and he just was not him, himself. When Michael was, I think, probably around the age of 20, he was into drugs. and. Um, I remember someone had said that his life was in danger, so I went to his father. And at that time, um, we went to the court and the judge and asked the judge to have him put in a drug rehab, which they did. That made him more angrier, you know, and he was angry at me. But um, I don't apologize for trying to save my son's life, you know. I was very angry at my son. I was, I loved him, but I didn't like him because it, it, the drug made him lie to me. And as a parent, I had always told, taught my children, don't lie. You'll get in trouble more for lying than what you did, whatever it was that you did. And um, so when he started to lie, I took that personal. So I started going to NA meetings and AA meetings. I wanted to understand the drug. I got angry because what I saw was love and understanding. And deep down in my heart, I thought, these people are showing more love towards each other than what maybe I'm doing with my own son. And I didn't understand that. But it started to have a change within me. And as I begin to change, and I begin to educate myself about that drug and how it affected and made other people, my son, addictive, and it changed his entire personality. This last time of going to prison, he got out, um, came home, he took his number or whatever it was, he tore it up, he threw it away, he says, that's it, I won't go back. And there was a change in him. He recognizes that He's an, he is a recovering addict. He does not take that for granted, and he does not play with that. As to do today, he talks about whatever is going on inside of him. He doesn't keep it bottled up. You know, he will come to me and he'll say, okay, this has made me feel very uncomfortable. Can we talk about it? Okay. And, um, you know, we'll talk about it. And, there's some days that I'll say, I don't want to talk about it yet, you know, but it's okay. I tell parents or other people, you have to love your child through this. You have to work on you as well because you're sick, you know. The entire family is sick. All of the loved ones were sick. So as you work on you, you'll be able to help your child take care of you. Take care of yourself as well, because you can't fix it for the addict. You can't do that.